Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Mountain Blade Bannerlord. Playing as Clement and attempting to head north currently. So we are with Stannis right now. We have just finished besieging Hull, I think. I I'm having trouble speaking for some reason these days. So I used the cheats. Uh, the problem is... There is a uh, event in the game where Stannis is supposed to head to Eastwatch by Sea, but it's not fully in the game. The thing is, it only gives him Eastwatch by the Sea and Carhold, but he never really heads up north himself. He just sits here because um, I understand why the, why that's a problem. The, the reason why this is a thing is because what if he's in the middle of a siege or what if he's, I don't know, fighting somebody in the middle of a battle? That's why it doesn't really trigger. So now I went into the cheats menu. I'll show you over here. I turned on cheats. I get I gave him cohesion because he has an army on sure. And I told him, I don't know, uh, these two didn't work. So the third time it probably works. Stannis to Eastwatch by the sea is controlled by cheats. And I don't know what the second one is. So can be enabled again yeah i think he's gonna head there because i used this before on a different uh, person and it worked that one time so if we just wait over here we should see him get out hopefully there he is he's traveling to east watch by the sea let's join him let's join his army we're gonna all head up north Vote for the new owner of Hull. Uh, oh, they might vote for us by accident. Uh, we don't want it. We don't want Hull. Good thing. We, we don't We don't need it. Go ahead, Stannis. I mean, you already love us. Rickard Karstark, though. And Stannis might die soon, you know. And we're not going to stick with his kingdom, by the way. So, we're role-playing that... Clement isn't actually part of the kingdom. He never truly swore fealty. He just traveled alongside Stannis for long enough as a mercenary that Stannis no longer thought of him as a mercenary. He still pays him, but he was more of a vassal than any other vassal of Stannis. Oh, this guy voted for us. Davos. That's nice. Uh, we do want to make friends with Ricard Stark. I think this will raise our relationship quite a lot. Ooh, I don't want him to win, though. I think Stannis will give himself a sta um, hull. Because Ricard is in the north. I want him to stay in the north. I don't want him to go down. And Stannis might still have lords down here. So they could uh, possibly put troops in hull. But we don't really care all that much, uh, all that much about hull. So we're only going to give him 60. Decreased by 3. And we got 18 from this guy. Nice. So yeah, he, he already has car hold. Are probably the best castle that we have. Defenders. Oh, he already put 121 defenders in Hull. That's nice. We have Fellwood, we have Bronze Gate, and we have Sharp Point. All three given to them. We captured Haystack Hull ourselves in Griffin's Roost. And there is some troops in there. The problem is we don't have enough lords. But I guess we're heading up north finally. It's a good start to the episode, isn't it? Actually going by the book. Because we have control over it. If the game isn't heading towards the right direction, we could make our own scenarios. He's heading up north. Although a bit late, but he is heading up north. And we're right with him. So the cohesion is quite a bit. Okay, it's not going to go down. Yep. Fantastic. It's a long way. It's a long way. We don't have Melisandre as well, by the way, if you guys don't know. She actually left left us. If you go over here and end. Mm. Melly. Yep, she is Culture Dragonstone, but she is with Clan Dundarian. It's a noble house of the Stormlands. Part of the reach. So they were part of the Stormlands. So she married this guy, Dondarian, who is part of the Stormlands at that point. 
but then they left the Stormlands for the Reach. So there was a scenario a while back where uh, all of the factions left Stannis and he was by himself. That's after the Battle of uh, Blackwater Bay. And now another one was triggered where we went up north and he lost uh, Dragonstone and uh, the last fief as well. He lost his last two uh, cities. Or towns, should I say. But in the book, apparently, he didn't lose the other one. He only lost one of them. I, I can't go down for some reason. So there's Dragonstone and there's another one down there. He didn't lose that other one down there. He kept it for quite a while, actually. Dragonstone has been taken prisoner. Yeah. We're heading up north with quite a couple vassals, by the way. It's not just us. If we press Alt, we have... Well, that's a lot of people. We have Stannis... Benjen Stark, Quentin Martell, they both lead uh, armies, so does Lo Lord Varys and uh, Salise Florent. Goodman's party is attacked, Henry... Oh, Goodman isn't with us, he's down there. Goodman has been captured by... Okay, we'll release him at some point. Tyrion doesn't have a party, I don't think. We don't have him. Party. So, a lot of this army is just us. Only Salise Florent is uh, a part of it. But we are finally getting there. We have landed near Carhold. Oh, this is fantastic. So, I am wondering about one thing is, uh, are we gonna automatically declare war against the Free Folk, or do I have to do it myself? Okay, okay, wait. Wait a second. Not this. Uh... Okay, shit, the Stannis. Oh shit, it's not on. You gotta turn it off just in case because it does cause glitches in the game. So now we should have it. Yeah. Push it back between the north and Dragonstone has expired. But we are kind of friends with the North. I don't think they'll declare war on us. But they could. So there is two Northern factions. There is... Uh, the Karstarks who ended up uh, siding with us. And there's Bran. He's uh, over here. He has a couple holdings. Can't look that way, apparently. So a couple of our troops must have leveled up at this point. Yep. <sighs> Quite a bit of cavalry, I'll say. Damn! 62 cavalry. I just noticed. Uh, we're gonna get house guards. Although halberdiers are actually the ones we were aiming for, weren't we? Oh, a flower knight. I'll get him the moment we lose a troop. Alright. We are now by East Watch by Sea. Finally. Let's leave the army. Let's go our own way. Okay, let's look what's happened down here. Alright, let, let me first tell you. Boroughton wasn't part of this. Or oh, the Westerlands took it. So, it's part of the North, see? The North still exists with some uh, House Stark loyalists. Such as Mormons. The Mormons, or Bear Island, is loyal to House Stark till the very end. Although, there isn't a young girl, I don't think, in the books. I think that was fully added in... Actually, maybe not. I mean, she was in the book, but I don't think that she had as much say as in uh, the, 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 uh, the TV show. Because by the time Jon Snow meets her, he had already died and re uh, resurrected himself. And he went to her for help. Then he fought against, uh, not Roose Bolton. Ramsey Bolton. So, uh, the book actually only gets as far as uh, John dying. We don't actually see him resurrecting. And we don't know if he does resurrect, but we, we can guess probably that he resurrects. So, these guys will never fight us. They might even join us. I think they might join us. 
So we have last hurt over here. We can fight them. Take it from them. Ooh, quite a lot of uh, boys over here. Stannis has gone in here. Waiting. Uh, does he just stay there? Let me uh, do one thing. This. Uh, party by using campaign. So one is controlling them, zero is not. And this zero, I think, isn't controlled by cheats. Okay, we'll go into this, turn it off. He should no longer be waiting over here anymore. He's gonna do his own thing now, so he's no longer being controlled. <sighs> so, you are northern militia. It's a bit scary to besiege it with just 240 men. Uh, by the end of this episode, if we haven't declared war against these guys, I will do it myself. How about that? Law speaker, clan members in an army. Well, it's quite a quite a lot. We might go besiege a a castle. Is there a castle down here? There's a hideout. There's last bend. I don't think this is a castle yet. Uh, Dread Fort. Definitely not going over there. That one's scary. Too bad none of these are actually uh, maps. Traveling to Sheepstow. He's gonna go recruit some troops, I suppose. If he lets go of his army, it's whatever. He's gonna do his thing. Small John Umber. They had betrayed House Stark. And Jon Snow, I think, uh, pardoned them. Stop there. Who are you? You know what? Fine. What are your terms? I expect, I accept to meet you in an honorable battle. I wanted to do this, but that's all right. No horses, I guess. I I don't like having horses anyway. What is, what? Oh, that's the... That's when you craft your own sword? This is the one of the swords we made. It's the two-handed one. It's Kingslayer, I think. Let me... Yeah, oh, it looks so cool with the blood. Oh. It's, uh, I think, Jamie Lannister's sword. But he eventually got Oathkeeper, and I think after that, he got... Uh, he let... He gave Oathkeeper to, uh, to what's her name, to Brienne, and he got, uh, his son's blade. So yeah, he got, uh, Widow's Whale. I don't know if he ever renamed it. This might be Widow's Whale re renamed. No, I, actually, I don't think, because we have Widow's Whale in our inventory. We gave it to Tyrion. That's such a cool idea. Get into Tyrion. I know we told you we <laughs> we would capture you if you surrender if you fought us in a duel, but you know, man, we gotta we gotta get a fight. We gotta get some XP from our dudes. Let me use the one-handed sword, get some experience. Am I still recording? I am still recording. Uh we'll head right in there, right into the cavalry. Ah. Uh. Dark Bowman. Oh, I stabbed somebody. We do that much with stabs? Ooh, we killed that guy. This sword is really good for a one-handed. Like, we're killing people just by accident. And we do have bleed. So, Bleed is part of a mod, uh, part of one of the mods that I have. I think I put a list of uh, the 
of the mods that I have active in one of the comment sections in one of the videos. I think episode 2 or episode 3. It's quite early on. Oh, we lost the going now. Somebody gained the level. I don't know who it was. How many did we lose? Just one dude. Yeah, our giants are getting a shit ton of kills. You may leave. I think he's the leader of House Umber. Yeah, I think because his father, uh, he's small John Umber. Uh, it's not big John Umber. Great John Umber? I don't remember, man. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, we'll get the horses. I always like to have some horses. Yeah, our mount is so much better now. Uh, especially after the stables mod. It's a really good mod. It doesn't make them OP. It just makes them slightly better. It's like maybe twice as good as the... No, not even. Like 50% better than the normal horse. Than, than the normal... Uh, same type of the mount. It's a white walker mount. Actually, one of our dudes has it. It's a white horse. So look at this guy. 30 charge damage, 50 speed, and 60 maneuverability, and 300 HP. R1 has 400 HP, 75 maneuver from 60, 60 speed from 50, and 40 charge damage from 30. Quite a big increase. Well, oh, we're beginning to run out of food. Even grain is going low. I think they were stealing a bunch of our stuff. Oh, a trident. I'll try that. Uh, Legendary Kingslayer, what happened? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to look like that. It's a white sword. The sword of light. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep on using... Actually, no, I want to use this over here. Actually. We also have Legendary Heartsbane. Which is a two-handed. Makes sense why it's so much stronger. But not even that much. Only six more... Cut damage. Oh no, but the, that's if you use it as one-handed or two-handed. If you use it as a one-handed, it's worth that much. So I, so I can use a shield with this? Not that I want to use a shield. What's the point? Anyway, we don't need the rest. Right. Uh, noble Default. Actually, I'll keep this one. Some of our dudes could use it. So Noble Default is you can put it instead of a helmet. If you want to see your guys' faces. Here. Like for example... Does Tyrion ever wear a helmet? I mean, it makes sense for him to wear a helmet. He's not one of the dudes that needs to show his face. But some people... Like, I don't know about Don Water, to be fair. But Sandor. Sandor, like, never wears a helmet. And, you know, he looks all majestic. It's kind of cool to see him. But he doesn't have a scar on his left eye. No scar. Like, some people could use it. Uh, I can't see your guys' faces anyway. 1-1. One, one. We have Shagan over here. We have Raka. Raka looks so cool with this. With the gold. Oh my god. Yorin has one. And we have a Night King spike. It looks like the Night King uh, Night King crown. Looks so cool. Northern Pauldrons. We don't have these. So we're trying to collect a, a part of the set of each faction. We'll take some Stark Boots. If we want to, like, customize some of our heroes, get them some different type of equipment, we'll get a couple uh, northern types of armor. Uh, the sword is bugged. What if I go into the smithy and I just click on it and just, just get out? It should work. No, maybe, maybe not. I think I need to do... I think, I think I might need to rename it or something. Uh, put it in the inventory and we'll go into... Over here. High point is a castle. We could try and capture. Let's go to Castle Black for a second. I want to check if I can do it. Let small John number go. Traveling to Hockton. Where is Hockton? Oh, he's trying to recruit troops. Because he lost quite a couple. Nice war soldiers. And Dragonstone. Cares. I was gonna go to Halberdiers. 
Oh yes, I remembered. We needed to do something. Go into N, go into us, Clement. So this is a roleplay campaign. If you don't know, it means that I make customized titles for us. Or like whenever we have an achievement, we get something. Last episode, we earned an achievement. We defeated Roose Bolton in battle. Cersei also hates us. Because we stole from uh, Joffrey. We stole his sword. Raymond Connington. Anyway. So, we defeated Roose Bolton in battle. And we avenged the Red Wedding. To a certain extent, not fully. But we played a role in avenging the Red Wedding. Has been taken prisoner by Clement. So, because of that, we're gonna give some cell... What the fuck did I just say? Edit appearance, edit equipment, edit hero, I think. We're gonna give ourselves some charisma for that. First of all, I don't think it... I mean, maybe dueling. What did we use? We used a bow. We shot him with a bow, I think. So we're gonna give ourselves... Not a not a focus point. We're gonna give it ourselves some skill points. How about... Still this. Yeah, we'll get this. Yeah? And uh, we're gonna give, give ourselves some charm. We also dueled him a bit with a two-hander. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, we do we do him with a two-hander. Let's give ourselves five to earn the next point. And uh Charm. We'll give ourselves a focus point. How about that? Yeah. Just going from one to two. He's become slightly more charismatic, and it also makes sense for him to get some points. People find him more charismatic. Not enough to get this. I mean, maybe it is. Is this a good one? Like, if it's an OP one, I, won't, I don't need it. I won't go for it. Chance of avoiding critical failure. We don't even go for persuasions. Yeah, it's, it's not that big of a deal to get it. It makes sense for him to be more charismatic towards the public. It, like, you have more of an impact on charisma. By the way, you may be like, oh, this is a bit too OP. Like, what? Isn't this, like, insanely OP? We don't really get these all that much. Like, till now, we got it maybe twice. Earned an achievement, but soon enough we might earn a couple more achievements by building our own kingdom. So now we go into our character. And we give ourselves these two. Damage with two-handed weapons. Ooh. But we don't really need that. Oh, with your at all attacks. Not just two-handed. Damage against destructible objects by troops in your formation. Infantry in your formation. I think this one is that much better. Bonus experience to range troops in your party. I don't actually I don't know why I picked this. Because we our main weapon is the hammer. And it kind of one shots everybody. So getting more damage. I guess if we were using the sword, maybe. Bonus experience to range troops in your party. After each after every battle. Starting battle morale to it. Um, these aren't that good. Yeah, why not? We'll go for that. All of them are kind of eh. Chance of avoiding critical failure on persuasion. Chance for double persuasion success. We don't. We're not governor. I mean, why not? We're into a lot of lords. We, we could also go to the tavern, see if there is anybody. Yeah, don't really care about you. Import custom troop tree. No. I don't know how that works, so I'm not gonna touch it. Let's enter the smithy, let's see if we can uh, do anything about... You know what? It's the sword of light, man. I think there might be a way to do something about it by... Leave it. It's the Sword of Light. At least it shows as normal over here. But over here it shows as the Sword of Light. So we never mistake it. <laughs> we could go beyond the wall. Let's fight the Wildlings. Uh, the... The Nightwalkers. It's a bit of fun at least. Stannis, meanwhile, he's gonna do his own thing. He's gonna recruit some troops. Also, the guys in his party also recruit troops in his army. Excuse me. Let's go this way. 
guys straight off the bat we found the biggest nightwalker army we've ever seen actually not ever we've seen one with 300 but it has five whites let's go kill it we got no quarrel with you we're stronger than them by the way and not even a bit the whites are gonna die so quickly you don't understand this the normal whites are gonna get fully eliminated our cavalry is just that much better. I can just tell all of our troops to charge. How many bowmen do we have? Thirty of you. Go okay, do your thing. Actually, I don't feel like it. Unset. I want to move this over here. Can I? Yeah, no. I don't want to make it good for, but whatever. You guys, uh, just do your thing. Just sit over there. Let's use this for a bit. Soldiers! Oh, they just... Oh, look at this. Pause, pause, man. This is so cool. I want to take a... I want to go over here. Uh, v. And hide HUD. Oh, look at this. Look at our boys. This looks so cool. If I went and up the exposure, uh, how do you see toggle cursor? Exposure. Field of view. Focus end. And we change this. That one looks kind of cool. This one, I think, even better. Oh, we got ourselves potentially a screenshot already. Oh, look at all the giants. I want to get a close-up on one of the... One of the White Walkers. Not with the White Walkers, the the Whites. Like you, maybe. I also want to get the flag in the in the screen. Give me a second. Okay, we took out we took some dope ass screenshots. I, I might even get off my horse, but I think there's still five Whites. No, one of them was taken down. Only one of our guys got uh, wounded. Let's get in there. By the way, the whites aren't weak, if you don't know that. We're just that strong. They do a lot of damage. But yeah, we're just that open. Let's use this. Can I? Oh, it's cows fanciable. Oh, that's where the couch lands. We nearly hit that guy. Oh, we nearly hit him again. We need to slow down. Our guy is so quick. Give me the bow. Where is he? Okay, we're just destroying them. We have just that many horsemen. I can't even find them. We also have our own Nightwalkers. Three of them. I was looking for a reason to recruit some more Nightwalkers. 
because uh, it doesn't make sense for us to get a random one all of out of nowhere. So we say we defeated a Nightwalker army and one of them decided to join us after seeing uh, the Night King with us. The previous Night King. Where are they? Keep on losing them. There they are. Uh, it says there they are. Oh, that's one of them. Oh! I killed his horse. What the shit? I want to get off the horse and fight. Give me a second. Come over here. Ooh, he's just so fast. I can't kite him either. Oh, what? Oh, a new army came. More night walkers. You know what? I'll command you. One F3. Oh, this is Gendry, isn't it? Faster than Gendo. He doesn't heal as much as I do. Oh, there goes their entire army. 12 only remaining. We only lost one dude with another army of 200. I think. Yeah, it's another army of 200 that just entered. With a couple of White Walkers themselves. Yeah, another... F what? How many White Walkers is that? Four White Walkers. Oh, that's another White Walker gone. They have four White Walkers. And none of them are knocked out. So we're fighting nine White Walkers. Do you understand? Somebody give me a horse. Uh, how was it? K? H? N? L, where was it? Config key. What was it? E? F10. E. Oh, we were using Yorin all that time. Got him some XP. Okay, we'll, we'll choose you, man. We're surrounded one of them. That's another one. This is an absolute slaughter. This is insane. Another army joined. It was too far away to join previously, but apparently it got close enough. Yeah, one of them that just passed by us. Where are they at? That's another one gone. Two more. Oh, that's that's one. I want to hit him. Get out! Get out of my way, guys. I think I can get to him. Oh, we nearly hit him with a big one. He just turned around. I don't think we're gonna get another chance. Oh, yeah, there he goes. He lost his dude. He lost his horse. And you're looking at him again. Oh, 26 damage. There's a White Walker. Oh, and the last one is gone as well. They have zero. Woo! Some of our Dragonstone dudes leveled up. I like that. You know what? I'll agree to all of you. A, hel a Halberdier... A Night's Realm? Yes! We have a Night's Watch hero. Finally, I was looking forward to getting one. The Dragonstone Elite Archer twins. And yeah, we'll say that they were twins that joined the... That uh, decided to become archers in Dragonstone. And they followed us all the way up north. And this Gold Cloak Halberdier will say he was a captain. A corrupt captain before. But after joining us, he changed his ways. Although... 
As for this nice wash dude, we'll say that he was with us from the beginning of the campaign. He was one of the brothers that decided to join us up north. See, I'm very good at making these up. Ooh. I'll, I'll rename them, by the way. They're not going to stay like this. Okay, so the two twins, they're going to get... Actually, each of them is going to be good at something. This guy's going to be good at scouting. Uh, riding. He rides horses. He's good at riding. Uh, nah. Because I'm not going to give them horses anyway. It doesn't make sense. Scouting and tactics. And roguery. Right? We're going to give him another one. Thing. Tactics and roguery. So this is the first one. The other brother. The other brother. Whoa, chill out. He's very athletic. He is charismatic and has good leadership. Maybe not good leadership. Because I'm not going to make them leaders, I don't think. It's not medic. Engineering, maybe? Stewardship. Trade? Yeah, he's a good trader. Roguery. Yeah, he's good at trading. I don't know. How about that? Athletics. Trade. And... Uh, charm. So, this Night's Watch Protector... He must be good at scouting. Not smithing. I could give him athletics. Why does he only get 32? Athletics, ro riding. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna give him a horse. I'm gonna give him stewardship and leadership in case I wanna ever make him a leader. Trade, charm, tactics, riding, athletics, smithing. But I don't think I'll ever make him a leader, but I just want the option open. This guy. Same deal, actually. I might make this guy the leader of the gold cloaks. Uh, stewardship and leadership. He'll make a good leader. So I give them scouting because they're going to actually make use of it later on. I am on pause, right? Good. What's exit, guys? Only one dead. Who died? Captain of the King's Guard. Imagine. What... What did we just do to them? What just happened to them? Look how many Nightwalkers we already have. White Walkers. So we're going to say that there is more than one Night King. In the far north. So there's different Night Kings. Leaders of different like clans slash, slash armies. They lead their own white armies. And they can make new whites. So they make these whites and they build armies and they get officers in the form of white walkers. And the way to make white walkers is through human sacrifices. Oh, oh, I'll take all of you, I think. I'll just temporarily raise my uh, army limit just to get these guys back home. Okay. Or we could permanently raise our uh, army count, but we need a reason for doing so. What what achievement did we get in the recent... I mean, we did defeat the biggest White Walker army. Causing all of these people to join us. Yeah, we defeated 500 White Walkers. Isn't that insane? That's like That's like, I've never seen anybody do that. It's insane. Alright. We're gonna raise it to 280 for a bit. And we're gonna see if we deserve it. Afterwards. A lot of donated XP as well. Sir Timothy. Yeah, let's get it. Larger shield protection area against projectiles. I mean, you do have a shield. Damage to your shield while blocking in the wrong direction. No level up. Clement, we leveled up through this. Our leadership leveled up. Of course it did. Our oh, five party size limit. Bad. 
Bellasar. Damage with throwing weapons. Throwing skills. Do you have? You don't have any throwing. Fall damage taken and they don't even fall a lot. But maybe we're like climbing a wall and he accidentally falls down. It's good to have. Or maybe I control him and I make him fall myself. Uh, more control because it's quite low. Anybody else? Yeah, we're gonna rename these guys. I'll leave them for this episode. If you guys come up with some names for these four dudes, the twins and uh, the what's his name? For now, we have 245. Yeah, we raise it by 40. Actually, we can either do that or we earn another charm point by being ruler of the White Walkers. What is it? The, the human. Night King. Uh, we could get a bit of uh, leadership, but I'll, I'll leave it. I'll leave it for now. Maybe we'll see at the end of the episode. For now, we have earned ourselves some points. We go to Clement and we give ourselves 40. So it's 105, I guess. Now we can lead these men out of here. We lead the biggest army right now. By the way, I'll do the same thing for other parties as well. You know what? Yeah. Stannis, how many troops can you lead? Doesn't matter. We're gonna allow him to lead some more troops. Since he went up north... Yeah, we're going to give him 50. I don't know how many troops he can lead right now. But it's 50 right now. Who else should be able to lead a lot? Yeah, you know what? We're going to give it to everybody. Since everybody has earned some achievements. Who is the current leader? Joffrey can't lead anybody. Uh, what did I just do? We're not moving, so that's alright. Uh, you know what? I know somebody that can lead. Uh, what's his name? One of the Lannisters. Lannister. Tywin should be able to lead a lot of men. We'll give him 50 right now. I don't know how many he can lead right now. Hero, change name, edit troops. Cancel. Uh, how do I see how many troops they can lead? Well, it doesn't matter. We give him 50. I think he can lead up to 300 potentially. And now he can lead 350. Actually, I'll probably... No, actually, I'll change it. I'll make it to 400. So each of these is an absolute unit when you meet them on the battlefield. Yeah, it makes sense. We go back to Stannis. And we also make him 100 instead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is Jon Snow still alive? I think he is. If Jean ever creates an army, he can create the biggest. Mormont's Night's Watch. Uh, Jean, are you alive? Vassal of the Night's... We've never met Jon Snow, huh? Well, either way, he can lead quite a bunch of... Lord of the Night's Watch and Head of the Snow. A noble family of the... Yeah, it's... Uh, they needed to do that for a reason. They can present by Harma, Dog's Head of the Free Folk. He's now a prisoner. Harma Dog's Head. Alright. Uh, who else should have it? You know what? The Ramses. If you ever meet the Ramses on the battlefield. Ramsey. Ramsey Snow. Noble of the Westerlands. Yeah, weird. A hundred. So each of these is going to be an absolute behemoth on the field. Who else is a big leader out here? Uh, Baratheon, Joff. No, Tommen doesn't deserve it. He's not a good leader. Like, but there's an certain somebody over here in House Targaryen. Targaryen, Daenerys. 
she can have a hundred troops. And if, and listen, it's not just the main characters. You see these small kingdoms that have been like rising up recently. So they, they've been at war with each other and some of them have risen quite a lot. So faction is Pentos over here. Pentos. Uh, Tyrosh, Tyrosh, Liss is Tyrosh as well. So the Tyrosh rules so much. One, two, three, four. Isn't this also Tyrosh? Five. What the shit is happening over here? Volantis, 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 Volantis. Vol what the flip? Okay, who's the leader of Volantis? Volantis. Leader is this guy. You know what? Not change your name. Although we're not, we're unlikely to run into these guys, but if I ever run into them, they have a gigantic army. For being able to get that far. Why is the truck? <sighs> yep. That's most of the characters. After finishing that, we're going to have some very big, you know, oh, actually one more person, Then, the Free Folk, the leader of the Free Folk. Manstrator, you, unlike everybody else, can lead 200 Free Folk. Because I'm pretty sure he led like 100,000 Free Folk against Stannis in the, in the books. So if we ever run into him, how the fuck are these Lannister dudes all the way up here beyond the wall? <laughs> they really need to fix this problem. <laughs> it's kind of stupid. Oh yeah. So, let's give ourselves one of the White Walkers. So, we're gonna go over here. The, if you're wondering, how do you do this? My guy. You go into... Not this. This. You turn on cheat mode. <laughs> And there you have it. And you exit and you go back in. Unless it crashes, it doesn't crash. Okay, so. You go all the way down to N. Yeah, we're gonna give ourselves one Night King and one uh, normal White. From each army. So we're role playing that the southern no the southern Night King army. Engaged in a battle with us. Uh, the other one is White Walker. So it's all the way down at the bottom. Over here. That's how I did it last time. Because there's a glitch where the, the recruitment keeps on resetting. We would have had like 10 by now. But I'm uh, kind of nerfing us. I don't think I'm going to get any more White Walkers after this. Th this is like the last one. Reason being, I don't want to be too OP. Right now, we can defeat most armies. Uh, where is he? White, White Walker. Okay, there you go. And we let go of you and you. And we'll sell the rest of them, most likely. Oh, let's let go of a couple dudes. Huh? Oh, actually, can we hold you? We can hold you. F or whatever. We lost one, dude. Yeah, besides this, that's that. I would like to give them some whites. Make them be able to spawn whites. But not now. Maybe potentially later. But we have a couple new white walkers. And our... Our... Uh, Night's Watch part of the army. So we have split our army in a couple parts. The leader of the Night's Watch is Yorin right now. And he leads quite a couple of them. But his rulership has increased quite a bit. 
I mean, there's two leaders. There's Yorin and there's Benjen. Benjen leads an army and Yorin leads our part of the army. Uh, we don't have any horsemen, but I guess we'll keep you. Why not? Then let's watch defenders. Uh, crossbowmen for whatever reason. I think you're lower tier than that guy. And yeah, we just have, we just have so many crossbowmen. Why is that? Do we have a master crossbowman? Yeah, we have two of them. All, all of you are going to be master crossbowmen by the end. Yeah, our rulership increased quite a bit. Elite crossbowman. The leading Night's Watch Elite Rangers. What did I just do? We won't rename you right now. And I saw another Night's Watch down there. I'll go back to him. Elite Ranger, Master Ranger. Yeah, we have quite a couple rangers now. I was a bit disheartened when we lost most of them down south and we couldn't go up north. But now we're back up north. And we have quite a couple of them and quite a couple Norman dudes as well. Hopefully one of them levels up, but it's hard for normal troops to level up. Like, uh... Soldier, shield... Uh... Where are you? You're T2. Yeah, we have so many of them now. Night's Watch recruits. Put them up north as well. Up uh, up top. But I think that's it, no? We have a lot of Great Cloaks. I don't know why the Great Cloak late is down here. Sandor leads the Great Cloaks. We have a bunch of Kang's Guards. I'll do the rest later. Oh, let's turn off cheat mode. I like these uh, roleplay campaigns. It allows us to do so much more. I might even buff some of the other vassals for some of the kingdoms. To make it that much harder to fight them. We'll see. Give me some names in the comments of uh, people you sh I should buff. Let's go down south again. We've had long enough over here. How much of the episode is left? Quite a bit. But damn, that was a big army. It's an awful... Oh. Yeah, we can... Uh, we get Goodman back. Yeah, I'll pay 2,000. But I'll pay 20,000. It, it will take him a while to get back in action. I wish I could spawn him up north. I mean, I can, but I, I don't feel like it. It's too much trouble. Uh, let's sell some of these stuff. We have too many of them. Uh, I guess not. I want the horses, kinda. The armor? Let's keep it. Let's see if we can equip anybody with them. We have some... Rusty, dented, and normal. Northern pauldrons, stark boots. Oh yeah, plate armor reinforcement. It's for characters that don't look good with it. Like we could use it potentially, but I don't like it. Let's see. Uh, this doesn't look that bad. It looks like uh, we have melted some gold on our shoulders. I could change it later. Lord, Lordly Stark Helmet. Damn. I won't sell these right now. I need them. For later. We can have these arrows. I don't want them. Uh, we'll, we'll sit at this, I guess. Yeah, I, I don't think this was good. I might give it to somebody. The Valge might have been better. Uh, it's not, actually. We'll sell the Valge and we'll keep this and give it to somebody else. Uh, who wants a trident? Come on, guys. Somebody, anybody. Who wants a trident? Trident is cool. Come on. Sir Roland, you got one of these halberds. Makes sense for you to keep it. Oh, imagine if we had a Valyrian Seaguard. Uh, that we could give it to. <laughs> we have some in our troops. Sandor, you don't need a trident. Who wants a trident? What is this? 
What the shit? Why do you have that? Swing damage. Is it just me or is this kind of insane? Give me a second. It's cracked. And it's rusty on top of it. And you don't have a horse. I mean, do your thing, man. Who wants a trident? Naj, no, you're uh... uh we'll we'll see who can get a trident later. We'll keep it right now. Sell these couple things, I don't want them. Let's leave. I'll be right back when we have some action to end the episode. I'm thinking about it. I'm really thinking about it. 300 men against Last Hearth with 570, close to 600 men. They outnumber us 2 to 1. But we are strong. Not to mention, we're going to besiege them. And they get if they get outside, they're done. I put it at one. I want to just build these things first. So we're going to build, build some catapults. And we're going to destroy the walls. Because this is going to be a tough battle otherwise. I don't think any army can just attack us right now. Unless they bring in a big army. Of like a thousand. We're doing it. We are doing it, guys. We're gonna besiege Last Hearth. A town by ourselves. No army. I mean... Yeah, no army. It's just one party. I think it did get damaged, although we did remove it. We'll wait until we have three of you. Then put all three of you up. There's four of them. Okay. Last one. Lord Varys gained a level. Oh yeah, we can just recall Goodman to our party and release him over here in the north. He's less likely to get destroyed up in the north. That's one. Damn. They were building quite a couple in reserve. There goes all of the reserves. Okay. We're gonna destroy this town. <sighs> Besieging a cat. A town by ourselves. It's like one of the biggest towns in the north. Do I need anything else? I don't think I do. Like, if we're gonna charge through the walls, they're destroying them. We're gonna destroy both walls. So our troops can go through two ways. Look at this. It says we're equally matched. Do you understand? These men must be terrified to look outside and see ten giants Along with Clement, a Night King. Actually, two Night Kings and three White Walkers. Like, the night is invading. Okay. Are you guys ready? It's been a long day. We're at, an, we're at the hour mark. We're going on overtime. Come on. Let's do it. Uh, what weapons do we have? Do we... I think we brought back the hammer. Yeah, we have a one-handed and a hammer. I'm okay with that, actually. That's what I would have taken. And if we just have the one-handed, we'll just use the one-handed. Okay, you guys. Uh, we've never actually given you a roll before. So, both of you are archers. You're also an archer. You are... What troop? You go with the archers because you have a crossbow. 
we go in. Oh, we don't have. We just have the sword. I guess it's alright. If we get it, we got an extra quiver of arrows. Let's let's go kill some archers. Clear the walls, guys. We also have, like, giants destroying them with the ballista-like bows right now. If you look to the right, you can see it. I can't look to the right. Again, the level. I mean, are going in. Clear the walls, guys. Come on. You can just sit still and not dodge. Because they don't do much damage to us, these militia archers. They can barely pierce our <laughs> armor. I can't hit moving targets for the life of them. Especially such unpredictable targets. We are cleaning the walls, though. Look at our guys just murdering them on the inside. We ran out of arrows in the last arrow. Last two arrows, actually. Nice, very well used arrow. Okay, let's hit him. Where's the wall? How many troops did we lose? Nine wounded. Some killed. Where's the entrance? I think I missed it. Our, our like catapults are also destroying them. Can I go through here? Let's get off. Pause, I wanna I wanna check. F10. It's a gate? Where's the crack in the walls? Oh, there it is. And we're over there. Where's the other one then? There's two, two cracks in the walls. There's one over here. Uh, where's the other crack? No idea, but our men are fighting over here. How many men did we lose? 60. 60 are wounded. We still haven't gotten our reinforcements though. And we destroyed 303 of them. Okay. And, uh, that's some pause. I want to see what's over here. Yeah, it's, it's an interest through here. Alright. Let me through, guys. Come on, I can't see shit. Geld is up there, I <laughs> think. Geld is destroying some of them. Can I, can I get through? Yeah, we broke through. Alright, come on. They're retreating. Don't let them retreat. Where are you going, guys? I'm right here. Northern recruits. These were our dudes. These were our boys before. Oh, that's a retreat path, I guess. There's still 140 something of them. Some dudes on that side. Let's go kill them. Those are brave men out there. Let's go kill them. Right, a couple of our men were wounded. 
lot more were killed. King's God, Wolf Cloaks, Thunder Knights. By the time we're gonna get there, they're all gonna be dead. Oh, we're with a White Walker. If they would stop blocking us. Did the... What's his name get wounded? Oh no, there he is. <laughs> Who's this guy? They're just absolutely ripping them. It's not a night walk. <laughs> Might have not been him to the, at the beginning. Oh, no, it was Draco with us <laughs> all along. Yes, me and Draco are destroying the walls. Kill him, kill him. Rocco, what's up, man? Are you having a problem out here? Don't run, boys. Don't run. Not you. All of them can run except you. There is 18 left. F1, F3. Attack! 1 1. Quite a couple brave men were killed in the siege. Some of our dudes were. Knocked out, don't us, but none of the giants. Giants held strong. And so did the White Walkers, I think. Sandor Clegane got knocked out. I bet he was pushed off the wall, like always. Oh, here is a giant. Who are you? 1-1. One, one. Our officers, our greatest officers are down here. The king of the giants. Whoa, Lord Arm Almighty. Give me another Night's Watch. <sighs> Great Cloaks. A Great Cloak Captain can be gotten. A Thunder Knight. I want one. Of the last three, we can only choose up to five, right? Well, let's do this. How about that? Five new heroes. <sighs> I don't want to do all of them, so we're just going to give them Scouting, Athletics... Smithing, riding tactics, roguery, charm, leadership, trade, engineering. Why? Oh, because you're a ma- It's based off of the level of the dude. That's why we'll, we're- No, but I think the other dude also was a master uh, ranger. So that one also had, like, great leadership. We're going to give you athletics and we're going to give you riding. Why not? And, uh, there. Great Cloak Captains. We want a leader of the Great Cloaks. So we're gonna give you it. And the other dude is gonna have smithing. Why not? Athletics. And... Uh, engineering. Smithing. Uh... Athletics and engineering. There you go. Uh, the Thunder Knight, you're gonna need some athletics, right? Although, I want a leader for the Thunder Knight as well. A horse leader. We're just giving them these points for the sake of it. But also, they, they already have basically maxed out uh, riding and athletics as it is. So, giving them more doesn't actually help all that much. Why is the protector of... Okay. So the protector of the realm gets less points than the master archer. So the more high tier a unit is, the less you can give them. Hmm. Well, we're going to give you some athletics. We're going to give you some charm and some roguery. Athletics, charm... Okay. There you go. That's all of our men. It was a great battle. A great battle indeed. King's Guards, Master Lord. Eh, some, a lot of our gold cloaks. Some of our Night's Watch brethren were killed. Two of them. They were at the forefront. Great cloaks are expendable as much as I hate to say it. But what the shit? 
Whoa! What the fuck is this? So, you're trying to tell me that 23 Great Cloaks killed nearly 120 of them. Oh no, okay, we lost quite a couple other ones. So, 20... 40 Great Cloaks killed 120 enemies? They're quite good units. I didn't know they, were, they would be that good. The Stormlands Thunder Knights, 50 killed by... How much is this? A 12, 17. So, not even the Thunder Knights were able to do as much damage as the Great Cloak Captains. Well, to be fair, they're like mainly infantry units. They're made to do that. Who else got many kills? Whoa, Geld with 35 kills. And us with 43, obviously it's us. Attack. Wait to cancel. Inventory. Give me the hammer, guys. Come on, give me the hammer. Uh, actually... It's been a while since we, lose, we used Heartsbane. And we'll use the Trident, uh, the... White Walker Blade. Although it's quite a small room, to be... Honest. The Bolton Sword. We'll use the Bolton Sword. We haven't used it yet. Attack. We'll get our generals with us. Clear selection. Raka, you're coming with us. Batu. Shagan, sta stand back. 1-1, one, one, where are you at? We will take one giant into the square. <laughs> Sandor is knocked out. Too bad. Who else wants to come with us? Geralt Cole, you can come. Gendry is knocked out as well. Sir Basker, gone. Gendel the Blade, that's a new dude. Belisar, do you want to come? Gel did his thing previously. So two giants. Tyrion, come and watch. How about that? Uh, Sir Orm, come with us. Rakul Dothrak, you've been with us for quite a while. And the rest, we're gonna... Actually, I don't want to lose them. That's the problem. But I don't think any of you are going to really die. Go get yourself some kills. This is like a chance for them to get some kills. Uh, I don't want to lose you. A King's Guard could join us. He can level up to a Captain of the King's Guard if you don't know that. Asperatin Hammerman. You can also level up. And uh, how about... Uh, Dragonstone Halberd here. Poor dudes, man. Chill out. Relax. Oh, that was all of them. Batu. Belisar. What the fuck? Raka also got five, man. What was happening out here? They just absolutely murdered these guys. They're just a bunch of recruits. They were trying to live for their families. Ah, it's a good episode, this episode. Very nice one. Night's Watch Soldier. And uh, we'll get you this. And you'll get me this. And... Oh, no troops in the, gar in the prisoner pool. I should have checked for that. Northern Horsemen, huh? They look cool and all. Armor-wise. I don't really need them, though. We could put them in the prisoner pool of the city. But not that I'd really need to. Y'all can go to your families. Do your own thing. Don't let me stop you. Marksman flag increased range damage. Oh, this is better than the one we have. Who's the Raka? You're the leader of the archers, no? No, I don't think so, actually. Spot two here, you can have it for a bit. Actually, no, you don't even have a bow. Geld, 
You earned it. Uh, a bunch of armor that we don't really need. But we're so up above this. Let me see. Can't even give any more XP points. Uh, what points... What, what? Which of these do you even want? We'll take the sledgehammers. We'll sell them, I think. Just give me... Value-based. I don't really want any of this. There you go. All of our dudes, basically. Party morale change, minus 15. I'm really tempted to just give myself infinite morale. Because it doesn't make sense for us, uh, for our dudes to be into pillaging. Great John Umber. That was the name. It's not even worth, worth it. Like, it's just... What's the point? I don't know why you would ever do that unless you're, like, role-playing. But... As the capture of last hurt, you have the right of first refusal. Oh no, we're claiming it. This is currently the capital of our empire. Fantastic, guys. I accidentally uh, unpaused. Let's go back and... Insane episode. If you guys enjoyed the episode, make sure to hit the like button. I'm going to do some other things in between, like selling my stuff. We have three we have three villages as well bound to us. Uh, let's turn the map back around. Oh, the flag on last hearth. I love our flag. It looks like a space marine flag, doesn't it? An Imperium flag. Oh, his party disbanded near Carhold. They all have troops, right? Yeah, they have enough troops to survive. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure to hit the like, like button. Maybe consider subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.